Well, what's up, friends? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, this literally does not work. Fortunately, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm in my, my daughter's Jeep. You know, I got to make sure I got the Jeep wave down because I found out there's a whole culture of when you see somebody in a Jeep, you got to do that uh, or else you, they, they beat you up or something. I, I don't know. But I was taking my daughter to the airport. She's got some stuff she's doing out of town for a couple of days. And being the good father that I am, of course I take my daughter to the airport. And, uh, you know, I, I got a lot of work to do with all these kids that I got. I thought the baby factory was closed, but <laughs> we've recently had two new additions to the family. Right, Philly 500 and Cop Pizzle. Yeah. And hopefully, Rio, I think he's had to be one of my kids, too. Anyway, we have some good news and not so good news uh, on the Cowboys injury front. Donovan Wilson and uh, uh, Kevin Joseph, Boss Man Fat, are uh, beginning to do individual drills and start working out with the team, excuse me, and designated to return from IR, which is great news. Now, Demontre Kaziz left practice with a limp with trainers. No word exactly what shape he's in. Uh, Zeke Elliott says his knee is a little sore and his ribs are a little sore, but it's getting better every day as the team gets back to practice today. We talk about practice. Not a game now. We talk about practice. Uh, for the most part, you have nicks and bang-ups and everything else. And, you know, basically, when you say <coughs> healthy, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> healthy is a relative term. Because basically from the time you start training camp, that's the peak of your health. After that, everybody is battered, bruised, and beat the hell up. It, it's, it's, just, it's just the way it is. Um, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. When you think about what these guys do on Sundays, it's literally like being in 20 or 30 car wrecks you know, in one day, and then a couple of days later, it's back to practice, and a few days after that, you got another game. Speaking of the game, <laughs> the Eagles, they play tomorrow night. That's right. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a long day for me because I got to go down the country, do some work, and then I got to come back, and then I got to troll the hell out of Philly 500. Just, you know, that's how we roll. Anyway, anyway, um, some other good news for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, as much as we look and say, oh my God, Zeke Elliott's back. Tony Pollard, he looks like Tony Dorsett. Man, these guys are some hellacious running backs. Well, it's the offensive line stupid. Okay, I'm not saying that they're not good running backs. But when you have two, two of the three highest ranked offensive linemen in football on the same team you're probably having a few holes that are open up and that would be Tyron Smith the return of the Mac uh, the return of the Mac I mean it's just it, 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 the, what he has been doing has been freaking insane he's given up four pressures in five games. That's it. Four pressures. Not sacks. Pressures. It's tied for the NFL lead. Zach Martin, who missed the first game because of COVID, back to his all-pro self. That, my friends, is, 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 is the reason why you're seeing our, our running backs. Don't, don't, like I said, don't get me wrong. They've got great ability, but when you've got an offensive line that is opening up holes like our guys do, it's going to be a lot easier for them to run and get those big yards. Um, another interesting thing that happened today is, and, and another one of those reasons why, man, I just love Dan Quinn. You got to worry that Dan Quinn won't be here next year. I mean, honest now, because Dan Quinn is truly a hands-on player's coach. These guys love him. Dan Quinn, the same guy who was actually using 
Run DMC. Once you heard, once I heard he rapped Run DMC to practice as a teaching moment, I knew right then and there, that's my boy. Um, going old school with him. Today, I mean, we saw him actually out there on the field, you know, he, he quit, get off the field, quit, get off the field, let me show you how it's done. He hopped in and played nose tackle. Now, see, again, another one of those reasons why I like him was he was an undersized nose guard in college at Salisbury State. I think it was Salisbury State. Okay. He's the same age as I am. So him and I, we're like, we're like twins. Just, he's the coach of the Cowboys, and I'm not. Today, dude had a helmet on and was in the middle of the field in practice. Not a game now. He's not suiting up for a game. He's in there in practice, lining up with a helmet on. Maybe we know what happened to Leon Lett. Maybe these guys are out there hitting and their old ass bodies can't hold up anymore. I don't know. But it's, it's all good right now with the Dallas Cowboys. We're in a, a great position right now. Hopefully, get Donovan Wilson back. Hopefully, Demontre Kazee is not hurt bad. Um, boss man fat, start getting him into the rotation. Because the Cowboys, say what you will about Jerry Jones and, and everything else, and Stephen Jones and the mom and pop system and all that, the Dallas Cowboys have truly hit on this draft, it's freaking insane to end up getting Micah Parsons alone, then having OC, you know, defensive line, Goldston on the defensive line, um, Jabril Cox, you saw him literally knock out Daniel Jones, who, mind you, Daniel Jones could play this weekend, they say. Daniel Jones may play this weekend, so um, after getting knocked silly, he may be on pace to play this weekend. But you just start seeing these guys, and even Quentin Bohan in his plates um, this year. Nashawn Wright has been in there for a few plays. And now we still have Jarrell Cox. I mean, excuse me, not Jarrell Cox. Uh, boss Man Fat. It's insane the amount of players the Dallas Cowboys have gotten in one freaking draft. But uh, I ain't mad about it. It was funny listening to uh, my buddy Rio, who thought his defense was going to be great with all the guys, all the first round drafted players that they had on the defensive line, coming back from last year of, you know, playing well, and now looking at them as, well, as bad as Kansas City's defense. So many of the experts were so wrong this year. Hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy with a day job and a voodoo dog. And I am headed back home. Um, I will see you guys a little bit later. Peace.